Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Yosha and I'm your go-to girl for all things real. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a Rule 21 plus size try on haul. It's giving Easter egg shell in the springtime, honey. <laughs> I placed an order online and I picked it up in my local store. So I'm really excited to see how everything works out. This video is not sponsored. So whatever does not fit will be going back. Everything I ordered is in size 2X or 3X. And they had a huge sale, you guys. Like everything was 40% off. And I was able to find a 15% off coupon on Retail Me Not. So if you like what you see, I will be linking everything down below in the description box. And I highly encourage that you look on Google or Retail Me Not for any applicable coupons because Route 21 is a store that still allows those coupons and posts them within those third party sites. Now, before I get started, I do want to say if you don't have a local Route 21 near you or you do and they don't really have a lot of plus size items, I highly recommend that you check online, sis. I have about three Route 21s near me and only one of the three has a dedicated Route 21 plus and curb section. So I understand you may not even think to shop there because it looks like a store that's for skinny people. But sis, listen, it's not. It really has some cute stuff in the plus size curve section and you can get them for a good price. Don't play full price because they always have a sale. Be sure to smash that like button. Be sure to subscribe because your girl is on the road to 10K. And if you like what you see here, I want you to stick around and be my friend. I love my YouTube friends. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it. I'm gonna see you all in the next clip. So this is the first item and it is a peach colored romper with rushing and this ruffly vibe at the top. <laughs> um, it also has it there at the bottom. It looks so wrinkled coming out of the package, y'all. So uh, remember, this is a try on. This is not a lookbook. I'm not wearing this stuff right now. I literally just pulled it out of the package. So I think that this is really cute. What I love about it is that this was really tight. So I don't feel like my boobs are going anywhere. You definitely are gonna need your strapless. I have on my Lane Bryant. Uh, smoothing strapless I'll link it in my description box if you're interested I am a 44 triple D so I do recommend that you get a good strapless bra if you're gonna be showing shoulders this summer we're not wearing bras with straps with pieces like this okay ladies we're not doing it <laughs> so I'm gonna turn around to the back so you all can see and I also have on my black smoothing shapewear briefs from Lane Bryant as well. I'll link those down below. I would say you're gonna wanna wear black undergarments with this, whether it's a black thong, some black briefs, some black boy shorts, black smoothing shapewear, undies, because this is a little sheer. So let me move in so you can see. The top is not sheer because it's that tight ruffling material, but let me adjust this camera down just a little. I'm choosing this one. When it gets to the bottom, you're gonna be able to see what's underneath. So if you like to go commando, this might be a good one to do that in because again, you're gonna see whatever's under it. Don't wear your bright pink panties because honey, <laughs> everybody gonna this see them. This romper would work really well in the spring as well as in the summer. Um, I don't think you can probably wear this one in the cooler months because it's more of a light pastel peach. But this is definitely one that you can get wear out of in two seasons, in my opinion. Let me know what you think, though. Now, this next one is a soft tie-dye dress, and it has this ruching going down the center of it, and it really accents the curves. Now, this is the type of soft, pastel-like colors that I like in tie-dye. I don't really like the old-school 90s style in most pieces, so I feel like this is carefully executed. I'm trying to see, like how I truly feel about it. It does have like this tie at the bottom of it. And my concern with that tie, which I'll come a little closer and bend the camera down in a moment so you can see. But my concern with it is that, is the string gonna end up getting twisted up after wearing, after washing? Like, is it gonna become something that's gonna be a hassle later? So, you know, you've ever had a pair of shorts and they have that drawstring type thing in the middle and it ends up getting out of whack and then you end up having to pull the whole thing out? That's my concern. So I'm gonna come close to show you guys the color scheme. And it's like this orange and blue. I like the V cut. 
I have on my strapless bra with it, but the strap is really thick. So this is like that three finger width or a four week finger width for me length so you could really get away with wearing your strapless or your plunge bra your t-shirt bra any sort of bra with this because it's not going to show your straps and in the back you know you still don't see that now if you have straps that are going to be over here then yeah you'd be able to see it but I have on my strapless bra because I wanted to kind of give off that look. But if you want your chest to sit up like a little bit higher, then you could definitely get away with wearing your regular bra with this one. This is what concerns me right here. Like, it's tight right now. It's brand new. It's out the packaging. So it's not going to be coming to loose. But my concern is after wearing it, or even while I'm wearing it the first time, this might end up coming loose and being a headache. So although it's cute, I may not keep this one because I'm worried about the strength. Next piece is a jumpsuit, which I love. This is in like a mauve pink color. It's kind of like on the darker shade of pink. This will be a great jumpsuit to transition from summer to fall in. You may even be able to get away with wearing this as you transition from winter into spring. The color is not bright at all. And I definitely have seen this color a lot in the fall with like olive green. I've seen it with different shades of brown and stuff like that. So I do think that this would be great for that. What I will say that I noticed when I put it on is that it is extremely see-through. Right now, Rule 21 on the see-through meter is about a seven out of 10, meaning that their stuff is very see-through. The last dress that I took off was not see-through, but the first piece that I put on, the romper, it was see-through and so is this one. So if you're in a colder area, like up north, you may not want to wear these things during the colder months because you're gonna freeze. I love the detailing right here. This rushing is so attractive on the bust. And there's a lot of room. I have this on in a 2X and I do think that I got the right size. Bend this down a little lower so y'all can see the rushing. So like that's really popular right now, that rushed leg. And I think that these were like $10. So, love that rushing on the legs, but I do wish that it wasn't so sheer. Like, you can probably see my shapewear undies underneath here, and I don't like that. Now, this next dress is a baby blue, like, rushed dress, and I think it looks really good on me. This one is a little less sheer, so although you can see a little bit, it's not as bad. I think the baby blue and the white look really well together. It kind of gives off that light blue cotton candy feel. I'm gonna move in close so y'all can see. This is one that you definitely wanna wear your strapless bra with because you got all kinds of like armpit and low back showing. So you need your strapless one for this. The straps are thin and they do have some sort of adjustable thing in the back there so you can kind of tighten it to your liking I didn't need to tighten it just straight out the pack I do like the fit of it the rushing on the side I like better than the rushing in the middle so although I do have the same similar concerns about the string getting out of place I do feel like kind of pulling it up to the side like it is here sticking my leg up so you can see that rushing looks really sexy in this dress I don't think that the other one gave the same vibe <clears throat> so i want y'all to tell me did you like the center part rushing or the side part rushing personally i do think that the side part looks better in this color i don't know if it was the color scheme of the other one or just the very obvious detailing in the middle of the rush kind of going like this down the whole dress but i think it works here this one is cute i like it i feel like rule 21 understood the assignment with this one i have no complaints it's the perfect Thickness is not sheer. It fits my breast. It fits my hips. The rushing is accommodating to my chest. And it has pockets, y'all. Like, y'all know I love pockets. It's giving Easter egg shell in the springtime, honey. <laughs> no, but let's move close so y'all can see what I'm talking about. So, 
This crossover detailing, I absolutely love because it gives your chest room without being too much. And the great thing about this is you can just kind of step right into it. You put your strapless bra on and you are ready to go. You can give a little bit of cleavage, but not too much. You know what I'm saying? And I think the colors are really soft and the material feels really good and, and soft on the body as well. It has pockets, y'all. What else can I say? This is really cute and I think that they need to keep using this type of material because it clings to the body, but it's not sheer. Now I'm gonna turn around so y'all can see how the back is set up. Again, this is one that I would recommend that you wear with your strapless bra. I definitely will be keeping this one. I do like the way it looks. It has like a soft pink, yellow, and light purple into it. So it's tie-dye, but it's not obviously tie-dye. It's like that this new age tie-dye that's been real popular this year and some of last year. So this one is really cute and I really like it. Let me know what you think. This is the same surplus style romper, but it's in the color blue. And this one is giving cloudy on a rainy day, okay? What is it, sunshine on, on this cloudy day? It's, this is giving cloudy day, because it's blue, it's white, it's got like these gray undertones to it. The material feels so good on the skin. Love the pockets. But y'all, I feel like the other one looked much better on me. I don't know. I kind of like them both because again, I do love this little cut. It's giving a little cleavage, but not too much. And it feels so breathable on my skin. And I really like that. But the color didn't look the same to me as it did on the model. So I'm just like, eh. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it. So before I get into the last two pieces of the haul, I wanted to give you guys a little background about what they will be. Um, if you remember from a previous haul that I did, I had bought some bandu bras from Rainbow. Rainbow has been sold out ever since I showed that TikTok hack of how to use the bandu bra over your strapless bra to make your girl sit up. And while I'm glad everybody is learning how to make that girl sit up, I need some more bandit bras because I have my black one and my white one. And since I'm running out of uses, you know, I don't want to keep using the same one. Obviously, I wash them, but you know, I have all these new strapless skinny strap pieces, so I need more than two. Rainbow doesn't have them anymore. Um, when you check the lingerie section. So I saw that Rue 21 had some bandeaus and their bandeaus are not exactly like Rainbow. So you wanna watch, you wanna stay tuned. Don't leave, don't click off yet. You wanna watch and see how these fit. Now I ordered both of these in a 3X I believe. I'm gonna pair it with a pair of like Palazzo pants so y'all can kinda see how the coverage is. And they were still in stock. Now I got these on sale for five bucks. They are normally two for 20. So I am gonna keep my eye out for another bandu that y'all can get for $5. But Rule 21 is always having sales. So you can always sit it in your cart, wait for a promo code on Retail Me Not, or wait for some sort of sale to where things will be 40% off again, like back to school or something like that will be coming up. And then you can get it for the five like I did. Come and show you guys the material up front before I put it on. This is what the Rule 21 seamless strapless bra looks like this one is in a size 3x it doesn't have the retail price on here but it says that the suggested sizes are 42 d and 42 triple d or double d now, the main difference that i wanted to point out is that it does have this rushing here with this little bow at the bottom this is actually a stylish seamless that is meant to be worn like out. Okay, Rule 21. Y'all done found the customer for life because this, this is everything, okay? This is everything that I mentioned before and then some because it has like this rushing here where you could tighten it and it has more room like when it says that this is meant for 42 triple d it 44 triple d can get in here too 44 double d triple d all the d's maybe even a 40 g could get in here because mine are pretty big i would say the 3x gives way more coverage i also feel like this little number here in the middle 
allows your boobs to go on their separate sides. The one that I showed you guys previously, it does have like a, a built-in like divider, but it's very light. It's very, you know, stretchy and it gives. This makes it to where your, your chest kind of has to go where it's supposed to go. And you now I can do my jumping test. It's not going anywhere, sis. So I would definitely recommend pairing this one with your strapless bra as well. It covers the girls like they need to. And I can see why they actually charge $10 or $11.99 regular price because the material is a little bit thicker. And let me move in close so y'all can see. It's kind of like a ribbed material. So I really like that. I really do. This is the last bandeau, and it is in the nude color, same size. I thought that one was a 2X, but I have 3X in both. I think none of these items are running out of stock when I purchase, and I am going to link everything down below in the description box, including the seamless bras, but my feedback is the same. I love the fit. I'm going to come close so y'all can see. This is what you need, sis. Like... <laughs> They just make my chest look so good. Like, <laughs> I'm really happy with this because if you have bigger busts, you understand the struggle is real when it comes to trying to find something that will fit and not look saggy and not look sloppy. Like, ugh, this looks so good. You can even wear it without a bra if your chest is a little bit less big or more perky. It may sit up, but the material is not thick enough to where you may not have, like, you know, a nip peeking through so i think the good thing about wearing a strapless bra underneath is that you still have that coverage and that pad you are plus size definitely look online they have some really great deals online that you will not be able to find in the store if that new space jam movie is out or it'll be out by the time this video comes out so they have these really cute like graphic tees and hoodies and stuff to match that they have a lot of cute graphic tees for celebrities and the plus size selection online is really dope so although some of the items were a little bit sheer i will say i ended the haul feeling really good about most of the stuff that i picked up so let me know if you'd like to see me do more rue 21 plus size and curve try on hauls also drop some suggestions down below for other plus size friendly stores that you'd like to see me do a try on for thank you so much for watching be sure to subscribe if this is your first time here welcome i am on the road to 10k so if you like what you see be sure to stick around and i'll see you all in the next video bye